Um, this is the land sticker of um, graphic shoes. Today, our uh, ship train car brought us to Laboni, a uh, Bokas restaurant. Uh, we caught up with actress, who entrepreneur, who model, who everything. <laughs> <laughs> Ambassador Victoria Lebene. It's just a good thing. It's, it's a freestyle interview. So Okay, let me When you were a child or growing up, did you ever think, sit down for us to think that you become who you are? What, what dad, what dad, you who said, did you get past? You said, you see that your boy left Benny and not happy left Benny and then you said, my bad, you're going to be brave. Yes, when I was little, I started my educational background at uh, Agri Memorial. Uh, it used to be close to GBC. So um, that's where I. I derived my dreams from because after school we ran to GBC, go to the newsroom, go to the showroom, TV, TV showroom, watch cartoons, watch how they do the news and all that. And I felt like, wow, this is amazing. I mean, I would love to be a part of this. I would love to be a part of media. Would you say you are you are there already? Oh well I I wouldn't say I'm there, I'm there like that. You know, even rich people do still work harder to get more money. So I think that um, whatever stage that I am right now is as a result of what I have done when I was growing up. So as you keep growing up, as you keep developing, you want to do more of what you're doing so you can go higher from where you are. How did you grow up? Okay, I actually grew up among four siblings. We're actually five sisters, and I'm the last one. My mom and my dad, including us all, we're seven in number. And um, I happen to be the last one. I was, I was kind of, I should say, spoon-fed and pampered a lot. And that actually is having an impact on me right now because it chimude, it cry any idea. But I say to myself that in as much as I was well brought up, you know, I was well catered for and all that, doesn't mean that I would have to sit down and put my hands in my laps and watch things fall in place. I would have to stand up and do my own things and push, be hard working, be determined so I can get to wherever I want to get to. You know, my dad was very strict on me. I wouldn't go out, I wouldn't do anything. You know, I would have my fun at the school, but it wouldn't be much of play, play some stuff. So, so he was so bent on me. After school, I had to read books, I had to do mathematics, I had to do homework. There's a cane line by me. I had to get everything right, every question right, or else he is lashing me. What's wrong with me? Hold on. What's in there with me? I'm a hundred percent. And so, the man who is going to come into my life has to be extremely ready. Ready for what? To pass for me. Do you have one already? Yes, I do. How old is he? Age difference? I am not talking about his age. It's this. Just give me a rough figure. No. I hope, is he Ajululu? Oh no, he's age. a young guy. He's a young guy. Young, fine gentleman. I thought you said young guys don't know how to deal with women. They are I said some, some young some guys. I didn't say young guys. I said some. Oh, this one is he's matured. Mm -hmm. really. Very. Very matured. Okay. Now let's and he knows the job. He understands what I do. When so no criticisms on the side. Why are you naked? Why are you taking this photo? Why are you with this person? You know, all that kind of thing. The fact that I'm I'm doing well or from a good home doesn't mean I have to sit down and watch things to happen. I also have to make things happen for myself and to expand my territories, make things bigger than even it is back home. Let's talk about your relationship with Abeku Santana. Mm -hmm. What's your relationship with him? Are you dating him? No. Has he asked you out? Never. Are you sleeping with him? No. Have you kissed him before? Oh. Has he given you a peg before? Oh yeah. Where? Why? I think it was my friend. We're friends. We're buddies. Just like when you come here right now, I'll hug you and give you a French kiss. It's formalities. So, 
I don't think that's the extent of him holding your bag. That was for a photo. Mm -hmm. That just was for photo. yeah. That was just for a photo. In the process of taking the photo, I raised my leg. I wasn't even looking. If you, if you check the photo, I wasn't even looking. So by the time after the photo, when I looked back, I realized he was holding my bum like close to holding it. He didn't even hold it. Was just doing that for the photo. Just being dramatic. So I, I, you know, Abeku is dramatic. I, are you debunking the news that Abeku held your bum? He didn't hold it. Oh. Whatever they want to say. That is not the first time a picture of yours like that is up. Um, there was news when you guys went for a road trip. Mm -hmm. The pictures that came out was the same. I think when I like, we are like besties. You understand? How do you think his wife will be feeling? His How wife is yes. comfortable. His wife is my friend. We do business together. We're like family, so I don't see anything wrong. I mean, there's nothing wrong. It's just people just speculating and thinking otherwise. From the response you give me, do I might take it that you've gotten to a point where you don't care what anybody says about you in the media? Well, the if you are in this game, if you're in this business, and you don't have a thick skin, and you're not strong enough to withstand all the criticisms that people say, not everybody will like you. Not everybody will accept you for who you are, what you do. You understand? So you have to be in a very good position where you can be able to balance yourself. So I appreciate where I am right now and I give credits to God. So I wouldn't have anyone sit behind and say stuff that they don't know. I, w I wouldn't say that I write, I wrote on Kofi Ajayi. He came in along the line. So it can't be like that. Now that Lebanon is done with Kofi Ajayi, Kofi Ajayi is done with Lebanon. The two of them are done with with each other and she has moved on. Is it to say that looking at the comments you had from people and then that of your father as well, which I mean played a, a major role in you letting whatever you thought for the federal level. Is it right for us to say that Victoria Lebene is done with old man? Or old man? I don't use the word sugar daddy because I mean it doesn't but, but I don't do older. Yeah. Because Joe was older than me. Yeah, the fact that he was doesn't mean I do older men and that I'm done with older men. I only made a statement earlier, which they misinterpreted me. I said, I think that older men take very good care of women and they understand that as compared to younger guys. It's just a general statement I made. Doesn't mean that I love older men, I can do without older men, you know, that kind of bloody bloody stuff. So, I mean, a good man is a good man, whether older. What was the motive behind you going out? Okay. Respect and regard. It's on hold for now. I, ha I don't want to be doing so many things at a time. I want to take things gradually, one step at a time. Yeah. I have some projects in the mind that I'm Mission up there. And I'm fully true and I'm ready to embark on my own TV show. I'll do that fully because it's already been drafted in this day. Victoria Levin, you make fun. <laughs> do you smoke weed? No, I don't. You don't drink alcohol? I do drink alcohol occasionally. Occasionally when there's a party or hangout or something. You don't do cigarettes. Have you ever been caught with meat by the police? <laughs> Never. Not after attending someone's birthday party. Mm. No. Never. Thank you very much for coming. It's been a wonderful <laughs> <day>. <laughs> <laughs>